Previously on A Canal Runs Through It, Brendan and Dave prepared for a dangerous hike across Nicaragua. Yeah, machete. I heard you get them dull and they sharpen them for you. You can choose whether you who want you, who you one about? side for jungle or two sides for gangster stuff. In the morning, we hired a boat to take us up the coastline from San Juan del Sur to near the mouth of the Brito River. Getting from one beach to the next is more challenging than it looks on a map, as the coastline here consists of rugged necks of land that shelter the sandy beaches, each of them an island sanctuary unto itself. Some beaches are great for surf, others for lounging. Meanwhile, despite the increasing development, other stretches of the coastline remain untouched. This boat is too large to go to the shore that we want to go to because the waves are too big, so we're going to switch to a smaller boat and that'll get us in quick and they can leave quick and drop us off on the beach. In the dinghy, we search for a safe point to reach the shoreline. He's going to go, they want to go to the other side, maybe it's lighter there. This was a first for us, storming a beach. Timing was everything as we had to ride the back of a wave to reach the sand. Yeah! Next, we fought to return the boat past the break. Just like that, our trek had begun. It's just empty. It is just empty everywhere, both ways. Look, there's not a foot track except ours. Empty beach. And I haven't seen a place like that in Nicaragua yet. This is the place. We hike north toward the mouth of the Brito River. Soon, this pristine beach may never be the same. As shown in the engineering draft plans, the proposal is to dredge out a port here, build facilities to hold the labor force, and create the western entrance to the canal that would be wide and deep enough for megaships. Such a drastic change to this idyllic beach was hard for us to fathom. As we pushed toward the mouth of the river, we did our best to catch as many hints of what would be lost besides the landscape itself. the best. Here we are at the, this is the Rio Brito. They say this is, this is, could change completely. Uh, right now it's just a little fishing village, like super tiny fishing village. And a fisherman told us that we have to swim across to get to where we can get inland to go to Tola and work our way towards Lake Nicaragua. We gotta see us. Oh. Dave talked with a local about crossing the river. I don't know. The pack right now, it's getting stronger and stronger. He said the tide's coming up and it's filling. The man offered to help us with his ingenious barge made from scrap wood and plastic soda bottles. Approximately 30 families live at the mouth of the Brito River. Just beyond the settlement stands a dense mangrove forest that extends several kilometers inland. 
Here, the rise and fall of the briny water provides a critical habitat for all sorts of life. Further inland, the fluctuating waters and mangroves gave way to ranches, scattered forests, and prairies. It was hard to imagine a container ship passing through these rolling hills. How are we looking? It's good. Uh, been moving for a couple hours now from the coast, and we're just following the Rio Brito up uh, through this part of the area called Brito and uh, headed towards Rivas. At nightfall, we arrived in Rivas and welcomed a hot meal fresh off the grill. <laughs> 